free comic book day. Let's see. Go live. Go live. And we're waiting. Okay, there we go. One's live, and the second one's live. Hey guys, this is Judea Alex coming to you live from Comic Emporium. This is the CETV live show that I bring to you every week, uh, at least I try to. Uh, so, um, yeah, I didn't get to post last week, unfortunately. Uh, well, I guess fortunately, we were really busy last week, um, and I didn't actually get a chance to do it. By the time it was like 2.30, you know, it was, you know, magic players are starting to roll in, so it just stayed busy. And so I'm sorry about that. I didn't get to talk to you guys last week. But this week, we're going to try to make up for that. Um, so it is April. Uh, we've got a brand new month full of events to go over. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, we've got a lot of new product here in the store. Uh, so we're just going to kind of jump right into it. Uh, first things first, let's go over the new events. So uh, we had our uh, board game night uh, on the first Sunday of this month. Um, and then we have uh, after that, we had our, our intro to Warhammer, which was this past Wednesday from 6 to 10 p.m. If you missed out on that, um, you know, you can always come on a Wednesday. That's when most of our Warhammer players are here. Uh, you can learn how to play. You can learn how to paint the, the figures. It's a good time to meet some of the local players, too, and kind of help build that community uh, to a much bigger uh, organization than what it is currently. Um, and then let's see, uh, this coming Tuesday afternoon from 3 p.m. till 7 p.m., uh, there will be an intro, uh, uh, to Dungeons and Dragons event. Uh, this is for people who cannot make it on the normal Saturday. So if you work on the weekends and you've been wanting to make it and you haven't been able to, and now you finally get a chance to, you know, be off on a Tuesday evening, uh, you can come up to the store. We've got uh, four people already. Uh, we have room for a total of six. We can kind of push it to eight, but we really don't like to because that makes the whole learning process a little convoluted. But if you just want to come sit and watch, that's cool too. You know, that we always encourage that. So that, that's going to be this coming Tuesday from um, 3 p.m. till 7 p.m. Then uh, we have our normal intro to Dungeons and Dragons event, which I think is almost full, but that's going to be on Saturday the 16th. Yeah, 16th from noon until 4. Um, if you can make it to that one, you need to let me know so I can put your name on the list and make sure you get a chair for that. Again, all of our events are free. We don't charge for them. Uh, we do this because we love it, and we want to kind of continue to make our favorite games and our favorite hobbies grow. Um, today is Friday, which means it's Friday Night Magic, which starts at 3 o'clock and go until 10 o'clock. Um, I tell people every week, and somehow every week somebody forgets or doesn't listen or doesn't believe, if you get here after 6.30, you are going to find it very difficult to find a place to sit because the whole store will fill up with the extra table and everything. So if you want to play Magic and you want to guarantee yourself a seat, you got to get here before 6.30. Otherwise, you just kind of roll in the dice to see if there's going to be room. And that's a good and a bad problem to have because it's great because we have so many players, but it's bad because we just don't have enough room for all the players that we'd like to be able to house. So please keep that in mind um, as you're looking at your plans for today. Uh, the sooner you get here and get your spot, the better. Okay, so that's magic and everything. Um, oh, there is a Warhammer tournament that will take place here at the store on Sunday the 24th. So it's going to be the Sunday after Easter. Uh, Charles, Alex, Jason, I think they're the ones that you have to talk to to kind of uh, figure out what the format and everything is going to be. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about it. All I know is that we will be opening the store on Sunday earlier than normal, and we will keep it open until 7 o'clock at night or so. Uh, so the, uh, the Warhammer tournament has time to play and run and all that kind of good stuff. So that's going to be, again, Sunday the 24th, um, and I'll get more details to you the sooner the closer we get to it. Uh, and then Free Comic Book Day is coming up. Um, that is going to be next month on the 7th, I believe. Yes. Uh, so Free Comic Book Day. So for those of you who come out on Free Comic Book Day, thank you so very much. Those of you who come out in costume to Free Comic Book Day, we're going to have some giveaways for you. So, uh, you know, if this is your chance to show off your cosplay before any of the big, uh, bigger uh, con 
conventions happen, you know, like MegaCon or DragonCon or MomoCon or all of those kind of things. So this will be your chance to show off your cosplay and meet some other cosplayers here in Panama City. And everybody who comes in costume will be uh, receiving a little gift from Comic Emporium uh, for you guys to take home with you. And then, of course, we'll have our free comics, which, uh, you know, once we open up, uh, it's pretty much there's a limit until after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then after 2, whatever's left, please take it home with you. Um, so, yeah, so that's going to be next month on the 7th. That's a Saturday. It should be, yeah, a Saturday. I'm getting the head nod. Saturday the 7th. Oh, see, we're still busy. We see the phone ringing. But anyways, moving on. Uh, so there's a lot of new stuff that came out. We have the My Hero Academia card game that just released. Um, there was a demo a little while back, but now the full game is released, so we're actually uh, got that available to you. There is new Weishwartz, um, and there is new, uh, there's a Pokemon uh, Hooper VMAX and Lucario VMAX, and then um, a couple of other new Pokemon stuff. Um, all on the shelf right now. So if you were looking for Pokemon, if you're looking for the new stuff, we've got it on the shelf. And we've got new binders. We've got new deck boxes, new sleeves. We've got a paint restock. We just did a full restock on dice. So anybody who was looking for new dice, I've got mini sets. I've got the regular sets. I've got the glow-in-the-dark sets. I've got everything. Um, so come on by and check out our dice selection. We've got lots and lots. We also got new dice bags in. I've got a ton of dice bags, too. Some reversible ones, some small ones, some big ones. Some of the ones that have, like, the different pockets in them for you, so you can sort your dice out and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, I've got more of the D&D, uh, like, monster dice bags, like the Beholder, the Owlbear, the Red Dragon, the Lithid. I've got all of that on the shelf as well. Um, we also pulled some stuff out of the uh, archives, as I like to call it, some of our uh, toys and things from the past. So I've got a couple of Harry Potter things out. Uh, there's like a, a, a lunchbox with a sandwich saver in it. I've got a snow globe. Um, and then I've also got like some new Batman toys, uh, a couple of new books on the shelf as well. Uh, so then segueing. Uh, from toys and books, uh, new comics this week included uh, the Moon Knight uh, trade paperback, the Thor trade paperback, the Venom trade paperback, big, thick graphic novels for you, lots of issues in time there. So if you're a fan of Moon Knight, if you're a fan of all that, this will be your chance to pick those up. If you like the uh, anime Demon Slayer, I've got an actual Demon Slayer manga coloring book in. So that's pretty neat. Um, that's on the shelf as well. Uh, and then, of course, we have a couple of new graded comics on the shelf. So for all my comic book collectors out there, um, we have some new stuff out there for you to see and for you to take a look at. Um, so feel free to come on in. Plus, we've got a few new back issues out uh, this week. We've got a found a few, like, you know, what we call buried treasure, you know, where we're going through a collection and we find something really awesome, like the uh, first appearance of Kate Bishop in The Young Avengers. Uh, we've got that on the, the shelf right now, so you can come and take a look at that. Uh, yes, for those of you who are wondering, we are buying comics. Um, if you want to know the details behind that, give me a call, message me, and I'll walk you through it. Uh, if you are, we're also buying magic cards, so we are not buying Pokemon cards. Uh, and uh, we are looking at um, possibly opening up and, and buying some more Funko Pops. Uh, so if you've got some Funko Pops you want to part with, uh, give me a call or message me, as usual. And other than that, um, that's pretty much all the new stuff that we have here in the store. And I've, got, I've only got like a minute left. So I just want to touch on a couple of things real quickly because uh, I'm just running out of time. Uh, okay, so first off, um, I'm still watching Picard. Picard uh, Season 2 has really been really good. Uh, this latest episode um, was like really... Um, Really great with the Borg Queen and Dr. Sung and and um, Jurati can sing. Like, wow, that was really good. Uh, Halo. Halo is still a good series. Like, I'm surprised at how good it was, you know, based off a of video game. It actually turned out to be pretty good. My first complaint about it was that Master Chief took his helmet off. Uh, but in the second episode, it kind of makes a little bit more sense, you know. It's, it's not trying to follow the Mandalorian path where, like, you never take your helmet off. Uh, it it's just kind of makes him a little more human and relatable so that's awesome so if you're not watching halo if you're not watching picard definitely need to pick those up because they're really good um 
What else can I think of? I think it's about all right this moment. Oh, Moon Knight. Oh, my gosh. If you are not watching Moon Knight, you are doing something wrong with your life because Moon Knight is fantastic. Second episode was so good. I love the introduction of Mr. Knight. Uh, if, for our Moon Knight fans, you know who that is. Uh, but the the comedy we get from Stephen Grant is hilarious. It's really, really good. And uh, the serious side of Mark Spector being shown... You know, that's really, uh, it really brings the character home. We get to meet Khonshu. We get to meet, you know, uh, all uh, a, a lot of the recurring characters. So if you're not watching Moon Knight, you need to be watching Moon Knight. It's very good. You you don't want to miss out on this. All right, guys, uh, I am over on time. Uh, I try to bring you as much good news as I can. So if there's anything you want to see, if there's anything you want me to talk about, message me, call me, come by the store, let me know, and I will bring it up on the next one. Other than that, uh, I'm going to say goodbye here, and I will see you all soon. This is your DM Alex, signing off.